Welcome Guardians, my name's Chit and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. Bungie has gone over many drastic changes coming to the tower when the Taken King is released. There's a lot of info to absorb so let's get started. Let's start with your level. It will now be experience based while your light level will be a combination of both your gear and weapon values. Um, to be perfectly honest, it seems like it's the same system but reversed a little. We'll see how this plays out. A nice addition is the inclusion of slots in our intellect, discipline, and strength roles. This will help us to understand better what it would take to decrease our cooldowns further and exactly how much time it would take. I'm not sure what it means that the intellect and discipline were not unlocked, however. We now have a first peek at what the ghost shells will be doing. This one in particular helps to locate Spirit Bloom. These will be similar to the idea of sparrows where there can be several of the same ability, but different color schemes. We have a new quest screen where we can prioritize different goals by selecting them. We can hold up to 16 bounties now and turn in bounties right from the menu instead of going all the way back to the tower. A small but welcome cosmetic change is that you can now equip any of your weapons in the tower. Check out the rocket launcher on his back. Now Bungie is giving us something called the Spark of Light, which will make any low level character you have instantly level 25. Wow! It'll be in your Postmaster, and I'm not quite sure if you only get the one to use. In addition to the new ghost shells that have perks, the speaker will also have class items with perks. Just check out this Warlock armband. This one in particular actually helps with Vanguard reputation gains. Okay, so near Ava Levante, the old shader lady, will be a terminal where you can access all your emblems and shaders, and also the ones that you've not unlocked yet. So no longer will they take up your precious vault space. Lord Shax now has ghost shells as well, which can give you buffs like more glimmer for killing hunters. Insert evil laugh. He also has his own bounties for you. And just like the weekly nightfall, completing all these bounties will give you a chance at an exotic. The Crucible Quartermaster will also have his set of bounties, as well as some really bright weaponry. Now near the Vanguard Mentors is another terminal called Exotic Armor Blueprints. Oh yeah! What this does is that for every single piece of exotic gear that you receive in the game is saved to this terminal. And with just a little bit of glimmer and an exotic shard you can actually replace any gear that you accidentally delete or lose or whatever. And also, just by having the year 1 version of this, you can get the year 2 upgraded version with brand new perks. For example, this Light Beyond Nemesis helmet, instead of having the pure strength roll that it's known for, can actually be tweaked to have either intellect or discipline. I'm sure many of you will be scrapping your year 1 helmets for this one. On the other side of the room is another terminal, except this is for exotic weapons. And it's the same deal, there are now upgraded versions of our current year one weapons. Now yesterday some people speculated that this one up top was actually a new exotic. Well in fact it kinda is and kinda isn't. It's actually the new upgraded year two Soros regime with a completely different color scheme and added perks. You can actually choose whether you want to have focus fire on it or not. If this is how they're going to carry all of our exotics into the next few years, I'm definitely excited about these changes. Next up, the Cryptarch will now be selling legendary engrams. Yes, that's right, using the new currency of the combined Vanguard and Crucible marks, legendary marks. Now, how will these new legendary marks work, you ask? Well, you still have a cap of 200 to carry, but there is no longer a weekly cap of 100. You can just keep earning them over and over, keep going to Crucible and Strikes or whatever, and just keep getting them. There's no longer a weekly cap. The Gunsmith is also increasing his usability by allowing weapons to use an option called Infuse or Infusion, which will allow you to upgrade a weaker weapon by dismantling a more powerful weapon. This is pretty neat and promotes customization among players. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have INCREASED VAULT SPACE! That's right, the space for our weapons and armor have been doubled. Along with the new blueprint terminals to hold all your emblems and shaders, we just gained so much space for all those weapons and gears and items and materials and currencies. 
that we could ask for. Now I want to play a bit of Where's Waldo with you guys. You notice anything unusual about this picture? If you give up, there's actually a sword in the vault. Yes, a sword. We don't have much information at this time, but you can be sure I'll cover it as soon as they talk about it. Phew, that sure was a lot to cover, guys. So, what do you think of these changes? What are you hoping to see? What do you not like to see? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.